Hello all, this is the only video for GC. You'll be using it rather often, uh, specifically to do the GC uh, chart here. What it does is populates this here. All right, so Bruce Springsteen was chosen on this here drop down. All right. So what this does is this is a drop down that is equal to is is looking at this which is called gc name uh, i had the two of these in here just to create a buffer zone uh it's there's an element of fragility there where um if you don't insert within it um gc name will not expand so just to demonstrate if i go right click here insert uh, table row above or below, it won't screw it up. Um, at which point, GC name is now that. Right? Just to do it the other way around. Oh, geez. Anyway, GC, GC name is now this, and it was used to be that. So, uh, you're just plugging in your nickname. That is what shows up on the dropdown in final. Um, and you can rank it. You can put a bunch of ones if you want, doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway, put in all your contact information and this is what will show up on Easy Proposal. Uh, you can rank, bring your ones up. Uh, smallest to largest, there you go. So now drop down will be the second one. And do that right before you send out. And it'll populate. Also, this is the project name. Which I added somewhat recently. So GEP, GEP trial demo is the job name here. The due date is here. That also goes over to Easy Proposal. And the drawing set. Uh, these have to do with the save as. Which exist over here. Uh, sometimes when you hide. Let's uh, hide some of these. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, so um, if you hide, it kind of gets scrunched up. Um, so I did the same thing over here on GC. The difference is this one shows the due date first. That is prior to the project. And on final, the project is first and then the due date. Right. And just to demonstrate again, um, this is the project name and this you can just do like today's date is 11 four. So you can just go 11 slash four and it'll plug in the current year and then put it in this fashion. I prefer the year first it makes all the sense in the world, especially if you are planning on having your job more than a year. Uh, you then click the buttons, the check marks to figure what you want to save it as. And this is a splash. And then to save it as that, you would hit this button. Uh, same thing over here. So we have, um, you know, you can add your due date and stuff like that. Uh, this is what it's currently saved as. And this is where it's currently saved. Right. So this is, you can put in wherever you want and I'll save it as that in your current folder. You can then navigate around stuff like that. Uh, if you want to copy what it is currently saved as, you can do so by doing that and then save it as what is in the red. Or if you want to copy what's up in the green, use the green copy button and we'll copy it down. Uh, and then you save as, and it'll now show up there. This will then show up there. And this is where it's currently saved. Pretty simple. Uh, the other thing is sheet management. Uh, you can delete a sheet, you can hide, unhide, add a sheet, rename a sheet, or move a sheet, okay? So 
uh, let's just do here. So there's no sheets to delete because they're all, you know, sheets you don't want to delete. Uh, if I were to do a optimize, it'll show up. If I were to do a manual optimization, Um, these two gray ones will show up in this drop down. All right. So this will delete it. And there it goes. And then it still will show up until you hit reset drop downs. And then sheet is the only remaining one. So that's how you delete. Uh, you can hide everything you want. There it just goes right there. Now, uh, Reset and can will show up. I know. Um, add a sheet. Sheet name and drop before. Choose which one you want. BSL. Click the button. And there it goes. That now shows up in the delete. Uh, sheet to rename. Um, well, let's see. Reset. There's nothing going to be in here because you can't rename Canopy and SRS and stuff like that because it'll screw up the macros. So uh, let's add sheet back in. And there it is. Uh, so then you choose the sheet and then this is what it will be saved as. So this cell is equal to what it already is. And then you can just do a dash one. And then this is what it will save as when you push this button. All right. So there's uh, sheet dash one. Uh, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, you got to reselect it. Reset. Sheet one. You rename the DF whatever. And there it goes. And then this will reset it. So then reset drop down. It'll reset this to equal this and this. Right. Uh, move sheet. You can move any, any sheet you want. Move before there. That's how you do it. Uh, that is sheet management. And that is pretty much it for GC. Thank you.